New at 10, you could say she has it all. A successful career, a devoted husband, and three adoring kids. Well, I sat down with the CEO of Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin, and she has advice for future executives and tells me her success would be impossible without one key decision. Freighter in the Medical College of Wisconsin is a regional medical center admitting more than 40,000 patients a year. How is it working to be over here? At the helm of this mega health system, an unassuming professional, 52-year-old Kathy Jacobson is president and CEO of Freighter Health. She worked her way up. I like to tell folks that my first job in a hospital was washing dishes in the kitchen. And that early job was great preparation for a young lady from a working class background. I'm one of the first people in my generation and my family to go to college. It began when Kathy earned a degree in accounting. Did you ever think you would be the CEO of a major regional medical never, center? Never. No, I never thought I would end up back working in hospitals or healthcare at all. Today, the CEO spends time inspiring the younger generation. Here, she's speaking to the young professional group Fuel. But this CPA had to grow into this role. In high school, she was more of an introvert. It was absolutely not the person who was the center of attention or the person who lit up the room. You know, I have, I have middle sisters who are more like that, you know, than yes. I am. But Kathy was always strong academically and focused on her strengths. Her advice for anyone struggling with self-doubt. Find your talent and find your gift because if you can find the thing you're, that makes you confident, then you at least have your spot. Jacobson is still close to her parents. She calls them her personal heroes. My dad was always the one at those who um, has four daughters and never allowed us to have an excuse for being girls. And this mom of three admits her job would be impossible without her husband. He's been a stay-at-home dad for the past 13 years. That choice has allowed her to flourish. Because not everybody can have the opportunity to stay home like we've had. But you absolutely, if you want to have a career as a woman, you have to have somebody who's going to help you with your family on an equal basis. You can't be full-time at both. You just can't. She knows she's lucky to have a partner sharing parenting duties. It's worked out great for our family. I wouldn't say it's easiest for him all the time. Um, it's a great thing when you're a woman and you go part-time or you stay home with your kids because you're welcomed into a big network of moms. Uh, that's a little bit lonelier for a dad. Still, leisure time is a luxury. What is the first thing that you decide to do when you have absolutely nothing to do? That happens about three times a year. <laughs> but when it does, but when it does happen, um, I love to sit down and just read a book. What kind of music do you listen to? Um, rock music. I'd say I'm a particularly attuned to 80s hard rock. And this mom is proud that her oldest daughter is even considering a career in business. Well, they do grow up and do think you're smart after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Jacobson sits on more than a dozen boards, including the United Way of Greater Milwaukee. But despite her high-powered roles, Kathy Jacobson has one duty she cherishes the most. What do you want your kids to remember you by, Kathy? I want them to remember that I was just their mom. That's the absolute, to them, that's all that really matters is that I was their mom. And she is pretty awesome. Jacobson is also proud one of her daughters is showing an interest in pursuing a business career just like dear old mom. So that is the highest compliment. Remarkable. Yeah.